This year marks the 150th year since the birth of Shalom Aleichem, one of the most beloved Jewish writers of the modern period. He was born to a poor family as Shalom Rabinovich in what was then Imperial Russia. When he first started his writing career, Rabinovich wrote in either Hebrew or Russian. In time, he found his audience in the Yiddish language. Over the years, he wrote 40 volumes in Yiddish and created the pen name Shalom Aleichem, which literally means peace be upon you. In the Yiddish world, Shalom Aleichem was more equivalent to, hi, how are you? His nom de plume, Shalom Aleichem, proved to be the perfect complement to his writing. Within the first few sentences of any of his works, one finds themselves listening to a voice that feels like an old friend from his hometown. Shalom Aleichem wrote in the most engaging and familiar style. Along the way, he introduced us to such characters as Tevye the Milkman and his wife Golda, and so many others who were amalgams of a people's memory of the old world. Eventually, Rabinovich made his way to the Lower East Side of New York, and the man known as the Jewish Mark Twain died in 1916. More than 100,000 people attended his funeral. Even with all of that, Rabinovich would have scarcely believed that more than a half century later, one of his works would become a legendary Broadway musical and an international sensation, including an award-winning movie. Shalom Aleichem had a great knack for telling a story from the vantage point of humor. One should not be fooled, though, into thinking that his stories were without depth. He was, if anything, an astute observer of the Jewish world, our people's joys, our people's concerns, our fears, and above all, the precarious nature of Jewish existence in an ever-hostile world, that fiddler on the roof. This evening, I will share with you one of his best-known stories, and then consider aloud as to what a man born more than 150 years ago has to say to us today. The name of the story is on account of a hat. It concerns Shalom Shachna, who people in Kasralevka, his home shtetl called Shalom Shachna Rattlebrain, because he was the most absent-minded of men. Shalom was a businessman with not a lot of business. But once he had a successful real estate deal that called upon him to leave Kasralevka and go on a train to finish the contracts. He'd have to leave the security of the shtetl and ride on a train that had just only started to run towards Kasralevka. The outside world, modernity itself, Shalom Aleichem was telling us, was encroaching on Kasralevka, whether they wanted it or not. The business transaction had gone well, and Shalom Shachna was now en route home to Kasralevka. But he had to change trains. There he had a few hours stopover in an unfamiliar place, and... This is where our story really begins. 